Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, Jim Bob's mad this morning, and by God, you ought to be mad too. I've been thinking about what Trump ought to do whenever he gets to be president. Yeah, that's right. I mean, everybody knows he's going to be president anyway, so he and he ain't going to do nothing like nobody else did. That's why he's going to get elected. And so here's some ideas for him about taxes. He's always talking to him. He's a Republican. Republicans are always talking about lowering taxes. And I've been thinking about taxes because I'm on a limited income. And taxes mean a lot to me. So here's some ideas for you. You know, uh, I'll bet you when you pay your bills, you don't even pay attention to the taxes that are on there. And uh, like your cable bill and your telephone bill and your cell phone bill and all that kind of stuff. And property taxes and all that stuff. You ought to look at the line items on that stuff. It's damn ridiculous, some of the taxes that are on there. Now, see, Jim Bob used to be in the cable television industry. I'll tell you a little bit about some taxes I know that are charged in there. You talk about the cable bills always so high and everything. Right now, they could lower your cable bill just by taking the taxes off of it by more than probably 10%, maybe even 15%. The cable company, the uh, phone company, the power company, all those companies got to pay what's called a franchise fee tax. And that's a tax to use your public right-of-ways. The right-of-ways that you already pay taxes for uh, in your city, county, and state. And uh, that's for them to lay their lines and put the poles and all that kind of stuff uh, in order to build the utilities like the cable TV, the power, and the telephone that you want. Uh, they are already paying the cities that tax, and that's just a slush fund for the cities and the counties and the state. And then, of course, there's the state taxes on top of that. And then the federal government likes to get in on top of all of that, and they like to hand, uh, especially, to take a look at your phone bill. There's six or eight dead gum, uh, taxes on your phone bill. There's the hearing impaired and uh, 911 and... Uh, uh, you know, 7-Eleven and all them other uh, taxes are added on there, fran that franchise fees in there too. Access to your own telephone line fees and all that stuff. It goes back to the government, either local or the state. It's just ridiculous. It's just a way for them to get some extra money for nothing. Now, you know, the phone companies and the cable companies and the power companies, they ought to get reimbursed up front, uh, but it don't, uh, you know, don't take forever to keep uh, 911 to work on the telephone line. It works. It don't cost the phone company nothing really anymore. So, uh, uh, same thing in the cable TV. So, you know, uh, and the power and all that stuff. And uh, the power was a really interesting one. They charge you, uh, the government now charges you if you use uh, oil. Uh, there's a, a tax for that and stuff. It's just plain crazy. And then, the, you know, I went down to get my driver's license not too long ago because I moved. And I had to go uh, tell them my new address and uh, tell them for, uh, for my car and my license and all that stuff. That cost me $37 just to get my driver's license face changed. And yeah, they took another picture, but the other picture wasn't but about six months old. It's just plain crazy and ridiculous. And if you live in a state like uh, South Carolina, every year if you've got a car, you got to pay taxes on a car over and over and over and over again every single year until you get rid of the car. And it just is not fair, all these taxes. Now, Trump, are you listening? You better be listening to Jim Bob, because if you don't, you're not going to get elected. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go in there and get rid of all the phone bill taxes, all the cable bill, cable TV bill taxes, and all the uh, power taxes and all of that stuff. Get all that stuff taken off, all them little bitty taxes. Somebody, poor old person, uh, loses their driver's license in the state of Florida. Boy, you get gouged out the yin yang to get it back. And it's the poor people, you wonder why they're driving around without no driver's license. It's because they can't afford to go pay the four or five hundred dollars to get reinstated for their driver's license. And you say, well, they shouldn't have lost their license anyway. That's BS. They're driving around in an old rickety car because they can't afford nothing more. It's just plain old uh, ripping off the poor, just like these uh, payday loan places. I don't like them neither. 
Um, they're just a place to rip you off. They're a legalized loan shark. All they do is loan you money, and the difference is they don't break your leg to get it back, but they just put you in debt so far you can't never get out. Anyways, I'm mad about it by God, and uh, somebody, uh, by, that's you, Trump. You better do something about it and get it fixed when you get up there in Washington. Okay, Jim Bob's out for today.